So something interesting happened. A couple of weeks ago on the podcast, I said this. I really like Gibson humbuckers and I put them in a lot of my guitars. The only guitars I don't put them in is fenders. And I always think it's funny because I think I think a strat would sound fantastic with two like 57 classics in it. And somebody responded in the comments. Well, Phil, you already have a strat that sounds like a Gibson. It's called an SG. And I thought about that for a second and I said, you know, that is interesting. I do have an SG. And yes, it's very light like a Strat. It's thin like a Strat. It's comfortable to play like a Strat. Um, but it doesn't have a tremolo. And I've tried the Gibson reissue with the tremolo and it was pretty horrible, <laughs> which I think is part of its charm, right? It was a interesting design at the time. And uh, although it's got a nostalgic feel, it was never a great uh, tremolo by design for sure. We can add a Bigsby, which would be a permanent fixture and it will change the guitar forever. We can add the Floyd Rose system that drops on. And to be honest with you, I don't find that appealing looking at all. It looks like a, it looks like somebody shoving a eighties looking Floyd Rose onto this uh, vintage looking SG. It's not really the vibe I'm going for. Plus it's over $200 and that's another expenditure that you have to kind of factor in there. And then of course there's the Stets bar. And again, that one was really cool. That was probably the front contender until I found this. This is the Duesenberg tremolo by Duesenberg, the company that makes the guitars. I'm with Andre and this is the official how you say. Uh, well, uh, it depends. If you're an English speaker, you would say Duesenberg. Uh, if you want to say the proper way in German, it would be Duesenberg. This tremolo is about 120 to 130 dollars US, 99 euro. So what we'll do is we'll install it real quick and then we'll talk about how it works. Three. So as you can see, we have the Gibson SG right here. Here is the tremolo from Duesenberg. You can see it's a very, very light, very small contraption. It also comes with these posts. Let's go ahead and install it and see how quick and easy this is. So I've removed the strings and this is how fast and easy the system is. Just go ahead and remove the tailpiece off your Gibson and take out the posts. No special tools required. Go ahead and take those out. So we're going to have the two new posts, two washers, and of course the bridge. The washers are to go between the bridge and the body. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just put the washers right here. Before I go ahead and tune the guitar up and just add a little bit of lubricant. Now it comes with a swab. You can use the swab, but I find I just use the string to work it in there. It's more important that your nut is cut correctly. In this case, this nut has been cut correctly. I just want to add some of the lubricant to help stability and tuning. So I installed it. It took no longer to install than restring the guitar. In fact, it added no time at all. I'm sure if somebody was restringing an SG next to me while I restrung this SG and installed this, would be done at the same time. It added no extra work whatsoever. Now, did it had any problems with intonation? Well, no, the guitar was intonated correctly before and it doesn't seem to affect anything adversely at all. One of the things I thought was really interesting about this bridge was when you uh, deal with Bigsby, there's always this point where you're tuning and tuning as it kind of stretches underneath and does all this stuff and kind of pulls into position. This had none of that. It tuned up just as fast as if it was a hardtail bridge. But one of the things I'm really impressed with before I get started is that there's an Allen screw on the side of this tremolo arm that lets you adjust not only how high it is, but the angle. So you can have it up high like this if you'd like, or if you want with a quick adjustment right here, we can bring it down just a little bit. And again, change the contour. Again, how high it is, how low it is, and what the angle is. Really impressive. So let's go ahead. I'm plugged into the Princeton right here, and let's go ahead. <laughs> is that you can tremolo 
pretty normally like you would with a Bigsby, but if you get extreme, you're gonna knock the guitar to tune. Well, now there's a couple things you can do. You could get a Graf Tech saddle bridge for this. That'll help kind of return the, the uh, bridge to the perfect position every time or get a roller bridge. I've had no issues with the guitar staying in tune as long as I don't get carried away. Uh, I mean, that's more than I'm gonna use tremolo. Even though the bridge is not touching the body on the post, it is touching the body with what looks like some kind of felt piece. Now over time, the felt may have an effect on the lacquer on this guitar. Also, you have to understand that even if it doesn't have any contact with this guitar, because this is nitrocellulose lacquer, what's going to happen is over time, when you take this bridge off, there'll be a discolorment. In other words, the body will be a different color than underneath the bridge. So over time, if you're using something like this Gibson, it will have an effect. But that being said, there's a couple options. The first option is you can try a less expensive Gibson SG, maybe some of the satin finishes. I think it would really pair up nice with some P90s and a satin finish. You can also use this on an Epiphone guitar that has a polyurethane finish that won't have that same effect. This bridge does come with two sets of posts and that was nice because these fit in perfectly into this bridge, uh, but also I'm sure if you have a different style bridge, maybe an import style bridge, those posts will fit in there as well. And it didn't even add a lot of weight to the body, which is nice. I can't imagine what else you could want from a tremolo system. It's relatively inexpensive compared to its competitors. It's built really well. It's designed fantastically. I think it even looks cool. It has a kind of a Bigsby kind of vibe. It gives it a very 60s flair. It gives you that tremolo look. You can put this on a Gibson Les Paul or any style bridge that has a Tone Pro style setup here. All right, guys, as always, thank you for hanging out with me today. And until next time, know your gear. Thank <laughs> you.